Welcome back to Local 3 News. Joining me via video chat is Alex Palswitz with Taste the Local Difference. What's new in the world of local food, Alex? Hi everyone, hi Rebecca, and thanks for joining me for this segment again. I actually want to start off um, kind of plugging this farm to table celebration that we'll be doing digitally or online this year, and that's the Marquette Local Food Fest. Uh, we won't be gathering in person, of course, but we think it's really important to share our goals and our mission, which is supporting local food businesses like farms and uh, farmers markets and our local grocers and our restaurants. So what it is, is we're doing a social media campaign to kind of flood the system and put support to these businesses that we cherish so much at this time. So it'll be running from October 21st through November 14th. Um, in order to participate or to like learn more, all you have to do is uh, visit us on Facebook, MQT Local Food Fest or Instagram, same, same handle. Um, and you can follow along. We're going to be sharing interviews. We'll be sharing tips. We're going to be educating you about where your food comes from. And there's actually going to be a way where you can participate at home. So if you're someone who likes to cook and you have a recipe that you want to feature, we're encouraging you to make that recipe, take a photo, and then to post it on either, either Instagram or Facebook, but to tag the Marquette Local Food Fest. Um, we also encourage you to use the hashtag Local Food Fest, and then we'll be going through those and picking a winner, um, and we'll be giving that winner a big basket of a bunch of locally sourced ingredients, which can be picked up at the Marquette Food Co-op. Um, and just a reminder too, if you're you're posting that photo, make sure you tag who the produce or the the source of where you got some of those ingredients. It'll be fun to see the community participate. So if you're looking for some inspiration, I'm here to talk squash. So we've got a beautiful golden Hubbard, and I just wanted to talk about like squash. The one thing I want to say, the easiest way to go is cutting, kind of cutting off the top and the bottom and then cut it in half and just scoop it out. It's like the easiest part of carving a pumpkin this time of year, right? You just cut it in half and scoop it out. I definitely recommend oiling the whole thing. Um, you also can just skin it. So here you can see I've got, this was the butternut, and then I took the skin off, did the same kind of thing. We'll take out the center, but then I just dice it up into these little pieces here. Um, make sure again, you cut the cover the whole thing in oil, and then you'll get these beautifully roasted um pieces of squash so just a little inspiration um get to that farmer's market or your local grocer and get some of those local ingredients and like i said follow along at mqt local food fest either on facebook or instagram 